Hey, this is Cameron with the Sea Butters channel. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at how to mod a grid seed miner. Um, we're basically going to do a voltage mod to this to bring it up to around 1.65 volts uh, so it can overclock up to 1200, 1250-ish uh, and see how, uh, how that goes. Um, to do this, you have to um, take it apart, which I'm going to show you. Um, but electronics are extremely delicate. It's hard enough to do this, let alone try to film it at the same time. So uh, this might get edited quite a bit. Um, but what you're going to need is a 49.9K resistor, 1% tolerance, solder, soldering iron, um, and I don't have the most specialized tools here. Um, I'm using Radio Shack type equipment, uh, real basic, um, and I've been able to mod two so far, no fatalities. Um, so we're just going to get to it. Uh, you'll need crimping tool or cutting tools. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of get this little resistor ready to go. Um, you see that there. You want the yellow side at the top. Kind of swing it around. Um, and then we'll, we'll cut that at some point. Um, but anyways, let's open this grid seat up. So you got your four top screws. That comes right off. Look how crappy the contact is with that heat sink. It's basically wasn't even touching on that one. That's the worst one I've ever seen. It wasn't even touching the chips. So we'll have to take a look at that when we reseed it. Um, okay, so here's the rough part. It's so small, it's incredibly hard to to see. So I'll see if I can get a good angle on this. All right. So what you're looking for, and this is thanks to the Bitcoin Talk forum. Uh, wow, that is almost impossible to see. Uh, boy, let's see what we can do. Might have to get out the manual focus on this. Let's see what I can do here. Hold on. Alright, that's about the best shot I can get. So what you're looking for is this third little item here and also right above it there is a small resistor one that bridges the gap right there. You're gonna want to remove that resistor and then bridge that hole with the far side of where the resistor used to be. So I hope that makes sense. That's about as clear as I can get. Um, you can find a diagram somewhere else, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So as you watch me do this on the camera, uh, just know those are the points I'm working on. So first things first, um, we have to I'm going to zoom it back out because there's no way to film this. The, the electronics are just too small. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to tin the tip of my solder ring iron. Uh, a teeny bit of solder on there is good. You do not want too much of it. In fact, I'm going to take a little bit of that off. If you get any, even a little bit of solder on, on 
on this electronic component, it is really hard to get off. So I just want a little bit so I can get some better heat transfer. And then I'm going to hit on either side of the resistor to loosen it. And try to... Okay. So, you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> but, I slid the resistor right off with the heat. You just kind of push on it once you get the ends. Um, it's almost... It, <laughs> it's like sliding a little teeny tiny piece of rice right off. you got to be so careful. But you slide that resistor right off. And now, what I'm going to do is after having removed that resistor, I'm going to cut my replacement resistor. What this is going to do is uh, change the resistance and therefore increase the voltage regulator. I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, I know it works. So you're going to cut it off about that size there. Sorry. This, this focusing is, is horrible, but there aren't really any guides I've seen on the net for this. Um, so, and the part of it is filming, it's just so hard to do. You need a small camera or something. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using the clamps on this little guy right here to position it where I need it to go. Uh, but first, you want to tin with just a teeny, teeny, teeny amount of solder the edges of this guy. So you don't want too much because it will run everywhere and you'll bridge all your resistor connections and you'll be in big trouble. So, so I've got that done. And now I'm going to line that up with the clamps and I'm going to put a teeny dab of solder right here. Um, just the slightest amount on that first point just to get it. Get it ready to go. Then I'm going to line up the resistor. It has to be perfect. You have very little room to screw up here. And it's, it's best if you put it kind of on the outside edge of where it needs to go so it doesn't bridge the gap of that resistor. I know this is super hard to see guys, We're doing our best. So I'm going to get the wires lined up just perfect, just so, because otherwise we be in big trouble. Okay, so once you've got that lined up, I've got to clean my tip. You don't want any extra solder on this at all. You just want a teeny, teeny bit to help the heat transfer. And... You just want to just nudge it. Uh, there's there's some existing solder on those points, so really what you need is the heat. This guy on the other side is super hard to get. 
I like to use two hands and get right on it with a fine point soldering gun and see if you can just tap it in. Just a tap, just just to get it tacked on there. And I think I got that. That was actually one of the I've only done three. This is my third. So that was probably the best one I've done. So let's get some better light and angle here. So you're looking at that part right there. And sorry guys, this is just too hard to focus. So you want to make sure that both of the little bridges are set. That it's touching, that the solder is good. I'm going to inspect this close up. You almost have to put your face right in it. That looks pretty good. And it's a uh, low profile too. So that's what you need to do to get your grid seed up to 1200 or 1175. That's what I'm shooting for. So um, be careful when you're putting the top back on as you can mess it up. Uh, you don't want to hit that resistor or knock the solder loose. Um, but that's how it's done. You can do it with basic s soldering skills. Um, just be careful and uh, you don't need fancy equipment to do it, although it really would help. Uh, but I hope this helps some of you out there uh, to mod your grid seed and we'll see you later.